Whoa, look at him. Oh, he's angry. Wow, look at the size of that spider. Let me tell you, working with a tarantula is unlike anything else with spiders. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and I've been working with spiders for years. Giant spiders, venomous spiders, and extremely strange spiders. Ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated by the creepy crawly creatures that live their secret lives alongside us, even in our literal backyards. It's like a whole parallel world that exists within ours, and it's become my mission to uncover its secrets. Along the way, I've had some incredible spider encounters, and if you're ready, here are five of the largest spiders I've ever seen. Hey, Spencer, you're gonna like this jumper. Yeah, it's huge. Whoa, what the heck? That's also a regal, that's massive. It might not be a giant compared to some of the other spiders we'll see in this video, but this is a titan among jumping spiders. We were out looking for extremely rare and venomous red widow spiders in the palmetto scrubs of central Florida, but in the chill of November, it's possible to come across jumping spiders building their cover webs just like this one. This is the regal jumping spider, which happens to be the largest jumping spider in North America. And this is a very large, regal jumping spider like you can see she is almost wolf spider sized normally jumping spiders are really tiny these blocky spiders are famous for their giant adorable eyes and are actually really good spider ambassadors since their curious behavior is fairly non-threatening even to the most fearful people they're actually extremely intelligent you'll notice you know, i've handled tons and tons of spiders hundreds of individuals of dozens of different species since starting this channel and the group that always fascinates me the most and is the most fun to work with are these jumpers. They're so methodical and intentional in their movements. Jumping spiders, once you once you show them that you're not a threat, sort of interact with you and they'll actually kind of just piece things together. You can see them, they're actually investigating. What a sweetheart. If you can't tell, jumping spiders are some of my absolute favorites and it's no secret why. While these spiders are exceptionally friendly, most spiders are actually fairly non-aggressive by nature. And now that we've gotten our feet wet with some cute jumping spiders, let's dive deeper into the creepy world of giant spiders. On a trip to northern Florida searching for giant venomous snakes, I actually came across one of the southeast United States' most notorious spiders and North America's largest orb weaver. What I've got right here is a golden silk spider, the biggest native orb weaver in North America. Have a look at that thing. It is so creepy looking. These spiders are stunning, but I gotta admit, they're among the creepier looking ones. For most people, the appearance of some of these spiders is enough to have them running in fear. And unfortunately for them, this spider tends to get the jump on them by building its super strong webs across open spaces in the woods and winding up in the faces of unsuspecting hikers. But one thing many people would wanna know, with such a fearsome looking spider, how bad is the bite? Here we go. One, two, three, ooh! Oh, yep, there it was. For a big, creepy spider, its bite is fairly underwhelming. A slight itchy sting is all that the golden silk spider had to its name, showing that for such a frightening looking creature, it's actually completely harmless. This creature's striking coloration and spindly legs may be off-putting, but they're actually this animal's key defense mechanisms that allow it to survive in the wild. Bright colors, like we see on spiders, wasps, and even some snakes, are meant to display to potential attackers that they may be venomous, and have a potentially painful or even deadly bite or sting. For some creatures, this is entirely true, but for many, it's nothing more than a bluff. But if you're an animal trying to survive in the wild, that is not a gamble that's worth your time. You see bright colors, it's often safer to move on and find a less striking looking meal to ensure that you survive to fight another day. While most spiders are venomous to some degree, not all of them advertise it. Some of the coolest spiders are those that have evolved cunning camouflage on the forest floor, which takes us into one of the first true giants I've come across on my adventures. Oh, wow! Oh! Look at this. Look at that spider. That has got to be the biggest... Ooh! Wolf spider I've ever seen. If there's one spider that really gets people's hearts racing, it's the wolf spider. They're huge, lightning fast arachnids that can be found across the globe. I've worked with many wolf spiders, and as a former arachnophobe, these behemoths helped me a ton with overcoming my fear because their bark is far worse than their bite. In fact, these are some of the most docile spiders out there. Look at the size of this spider in my hand. 
This is the biggest wolf spider I have ever seen in my life. We're actually out here looking for like centipedes and scorpions and stuff, but this is an absolute treat. You can see right here, she's completely calm. You know, usually a wolf spider initially will like, you know, be jumping away and fleeing. You know, she's she's relatively cold and probably a little confused as to what's going on right now because, you know, it's, it's winter time for her and she wants to go back in her burrow and relax. She was not expecting to be dug up by a giant human. The burrow dwelling wolf spiders are among the largest in North America. Normally, these creatures hunt by night, using their incredible vision to track down their prey under the cover of darkness, which also means they aren't seen by human eyes all too often. But they do have a tendency to wander into human dwellings where it's warm and dry, although this is usually an accident. As frightening as these encounters can be, hopefully, seeing this spider peacefully interacting with me will show you that even with a menacing appearance, they want to get back to their burrows more than they want to stand and fight. But while wolf spiders are big, there is another giant lurking out in the darkness. While exploring the forests of northern Texas, I came across one of the largest spiders I have ever seen. Right. Check out this spider. Look how huge. Here's my hand next to it. Thing is like literally tarantula sized. Yeah. But here, for better scale, oh, he's right here. Oh. Oh. Jeez, look at that. Now I can say with confidence, this is the biggest true spider I've ever seen. Fishing spiders, are absolutely massive and they get their name from the fact that even though they are huge spiders they can actually walk on water and they've been known to go fishing and catch fish but that is not the mo of the dark fishing spider this beauty where'd she go <laughs> she's on your back can help me out yeah now if this happened to you it probably would be your worst nightmare, right? Even for a seasoned spider hunter like myself, this is not the most comfortable situation. But the trick with any spider interaction, whether it's going as planned or going like this, is to keep as calm as possible. The calmer you stay, the calmer the spider will be, and the smoother the interaction will play out. And I guarantee you, a spider of this size could take down a small frog or a lizard. These guys are quick and they're camouflaged. These long legs here, are perfect for their hunting strategy. And the hairs that line their legs are extremely sensitive. These guys can see, they have our right vision, but it's their sensory hairs they really use to interact with their environment. All they need is a little lizard to kind of wiggle past them and it, it gets detected on one of their hairs and this spider will lunge at them, tackle them almost, and then use those huge fangs to sink deep into its prey's skin, inject a buttload of venom. Now, this is not a very dangerously venomous spider, but this is a huge spider and it can give you quite a big dose. It'd be enough to make you hurt if you're a human getting bitten by this spider. But uh, for a frog or a lizard, that bite's fatal. And man, watching these spiders eat is something absolutely incredible. They say everything's bigger in Texas, and it's certainly true of the spiders. This fishing spider may have monstrous proportions, but when we ventured into the rocky hill country, we came across another true giant, and possibly the most famous spider of the American West, and by far the largest spider I have ever seen. Whoa, look at him. Oh, he's angry. All right, buddy. Wow, look at the size of that spider. This one's a big male. They can be a bit cantankerous, so I kept them in a dark container for a few minutes just to calm them down. These spiders have huge fangs and a few other defensive tricks up their sleeve, but how keen will he be to use them? This right here is a Texas brown tarantula, a very nice sized male. And let me tell you, working with a tarantula is unlike anything else with spiders. They have a really nice weight to them and their feet feel so much different than pretty much any other invertebrate. They're really a whole class of their own. They are basically little puppy dogs and not even puppy dog in the hyper sense, puppy dog in the cute and cuddly, if you can consider a spider cute and cuddly. Something you might not know about this spider is it's actually not a true spider. Tarantulas are mygalomorphs, which are considered to be primitive spiders. They're evolutionarily more ancient than like wolf spiders or fishing spiders. Ooh, he's a little bit itchy. That's uh, his hairs. They can be a little bit irritating if they get flicked off. And that's actually their primary defense mechanism. 
there's not a whole lot that would want to try and take down this spider, but there's a lot of meat on this animal. So he's got to have some really cunning tricks to defend himself. You know, this is not a very fast spider, right? You know, a wolf spider this size would probably be lightning fast because they are packed with muscle. Tarantulas are a little bit dumpy and, and slow. So even though they do have venom, and I, I would assure you that a bite from a tarantula would not be the most pleasant thing, their primary defense is going to be flicking those hairs at a would-be attacker. Because believe me, they are going to itch. And if one of those gets in your eyes or something, it could do some pretty considerable damage. You got those nice dark legs and that long loping stride that you think of when you think of tarantulas. This is a classic invertebrate of the American West. Be it a tarantula, a giant wolf spider, or the gnarliest of fishing spiders, I love these huge arachnids. And while these huge spiders may be frightening to look at, it's important to remember that we humans are far more dangerous to these spiders than they are to us, and they'd rather be left alone than stand and fight. Giant or not, spiders live out their secret lives all around us all the time and are a pivotal part of the natural world that we're still learning about to this day. If a giant spider crosses your path, just remember this video and let the animal on its way, appreciating a fleeting encounter with one of the stranger creatures we share our planet with. And if you think you've got the nerves for yet another giant among spiders, on my journey to Texas, I got a chance to try and track down a giant, venomous black widow species. If you want to see that adventure, check it out right here. But until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.